Assalamu alaikum and good afternoon. We continue with our chapter 3 time domain analysis of digital system. And then in this chapter, um, we focus on stability analysis of closed loop system in the Z plane. So, um, in this chapter, we analysis the linear time invariant single input, single output in discrete uh, control system and as you know this one uh, is a transfer function um, is a transfer function uh, for the uh, closed loop system cz over rz equal gz over 1 plus g at z and then uh, for the to check the stability we must um, determine the location of the closed loop poles in the Z plane or the roots of the characteristic equation. So, to find the roots, we just consider this one, the denominator. So, PZ is the characteristic equation. So, PZ equal 1 plus G at Z equal 0. So to check the stability of analysis closed loop system, um, there is two main steps. One is factorize and finding the roots. Uh, second one from the characteristic equation, and and without solving the roots, we can use analytical method and graphical method. So uh, in this chapter for analytical method, we focus on jury stability, root suites, and uh, for the graphical method, we focus on a root locus. So, um, let's check the factorizing and finding the roots. Okay, before that, we must uh, identify um, when we say that the system is stable, unstable, and critical stable. So, for the system, when the system, uh, when the Poles is uh, located in the unit circle in the Z plane. The system is considered stable, and any closed loop poles outside unit circle, the system considered as unstable. So, if the uh, simple poles lies at Z equal one, the system become become critically stable. So, and then, um. And if many multiple many multiple closed loop poles on the unit circle make the system unstable. So in a closed loop system, we just consider the poles and um then we ignore the zeros. It, zeros uh, can be located at anywhere in the Z plane. So um, this is mapping between the S plane and the Z plane. For the S plane, any poles located at the left side is considered stable. This is the stable system. Any poles that located at the um, left side means that at this any poles that located at this area considered stable. And in uh, S plane, any poles that located in the S in the inside unit circle is stable. So uh, for the stability, we can uh, divide it into a uh, three um, main uh, criteria. The one is asymptotic stable. Uh, or known as stable system, any poles that uh, lies inside unit circle uh, and all the poles have magnitude less than 1. So, the, uh, the one that we, the one with the round shape here is the 0 and poles we use x. So, if we have poles here and we have poles here or here and here, as long as Inside unit circle, this one is considered stable. Or if you look at the graph, this is the graph. System becomes stable. So marginally stable or known as critically stable. If one, one, 
one poles but not multiple poles are located on the unit circle for example this is the zero and one if you have one poles here this one consider as marginally stable and this one is the uh, graph for the marginally stable but if you have one another one poles here this one is or any circle outside unit circle even even you have uh, even before this you can see that this one is as marginally stable but if we have one pole or side unit circle the status change from marginally stable to unstable so uh, this one at least one pole or side unit circle for example we have one pole here or side unit circle and one pole inside unit circle the system still considered as unstable because we have one outside unit circle. So, example, consider the closed loop control system shown in 3.2 where T equal 1 determine the stability of the system when K is 1. So, here we want to find uh, the either the system is stable or not. First, remember uh, what you should know here. This one, k one minus a power minus t s minus e uh, e s. This this all this item here is actually um. All this all, all of this actually, G S, and anything here is actually H S. But since you have unity feedback, so your H S actually equal one. So your job now is to transform from s form to z form so you refer to uh, go to the next slide the gs is given by 1 minus e tau s over s k, k s s plus 1 then you simplify your t equal 1 and k equal 1 so you got this this is your uh, GS. And then to get the Z form, you must transform the GS to GZ. So you uh, Z transform of 1 minus ETS1 over S squared S plus 1. This one, um, this one, if you uh, if you transform to the z form, become this one, 1 minus z minus 1. And then how about this one, 1 over s squared s plus 1. There is two ways that you can use. One is using the partial fraction method. And second one, you refer to table. Who knows, maybe there is similar pattern for s form. So, um, we look at the Z tab transform table that's similar to this one as 1 over S squared S plus 1. Okay. Yeah. Table number 13. Table number 13, your A actually is 1. Means, uh, and 1 and your Z form is this one. This one. So, you use this, this formula and then you substitute A with um, 1. 
and your t equal 1 y t equal 1 based on the equation your t equal 1 so you substitute and then you and then this is the final answer that you get for gz so this is your gz so now what you need to do is you use the characteristic equation gz equal 1 plus g at z as you know your g at z actually 1 um then you solve this one then your pz become you simplify it then this is your new pz z squared minus z plus 0 0.6321 and then since this one you find the character uh, you find the stability using um uh, you need to factorize to find the stability you use calculator and you find the roots as z1 equal 0 0.5 j 0 0.6161 uh, 6181 and this is your z2 as you can see here both of the equation is inside unit circle so you can consider the system as stable system Okay, next. Next is you use the jury stability to find the stability of the system. Okay, in implying the jury stability test to characteristic equation PZ, we construct the table whose element based on the coefficient of PZ and assume that the characteristic equation PZ is a polynomial in z as follow so um this is the your current equation and then this is your the arrangement for your jury stability test you have row row one two three and your um row one start with a n a n minus one and then when you got the first row Okay, when you got the first row, start with a n and minus 1 arrangement and you switch. This one, switch a0 here become this one, a1 minus 1, a2 until a n. Number of rows is a n minus 3. For example, your z, uh, your highest um, power in your, for example, z power of 3 so means your n here is 3 a3 a, three, a, th a 2 times 3 minus 3 then uh, first row consists of the coefficient vz uh, pz arranged in the ascending order and then second row the coefficient arrangement in the descending order and the element through uh, row 3 until a n minus 3 are given for the following uh, determinants so then this one is b n minus 1 b n n minus 2 and so on so you can uh, after this you can see uh, from the example how we arrange um, the rows and then a system with the characteristic equation pz equals 0 are written as this is uh, the form uh, the pz and then if where a larger and larger than zero is stable if all the following conditions are satisfied um this for a uh, modulus of a n less than a zero pz z equal one is larger than zero pz where z equal minus one larger than zero for n is even and pz minus one less than zero for odd item and b n minus one larger than modulus of b n minus one larger than b than b zero and modulus of c n minus two larger than c zero okay we look at an example examine the stability of the following characteristic equation and what you need to do is you compare with the um character equation in uh, jury stability so when you compare here, you know that your AO 
a0 is 1, a1 is minus 0.2 and your an is minus 0 0.08. You can see here your n, your n here is 4. Uh, so, this is your n. So, you know that from this question, your n is 4. So, we could look at the example. Okay, actually, this is the first, same, same example uh, as in the um, slide. So, first, what you need to do is when you have the character equation, you compare. You compare with um, a0, zn. So, you got the a0, a1, a2, a3, and a n. And then, remember, you have four conditions uh, that you must satisfy in order to make sure that the system is stable. So, a modulus of a n must less smaller than uh, a0. Your a n, so you substitute your a n is modulus of minus 0 0.0508. Less than 1, so this number 1 is satisfied. Number 2, P, Z, Z minus 1 must larger than 0. We, so you substitute 1 into this equation. Into this equation, so you got um, 0 0.09 larger than 0. This one also satisfied. P, Z, Z minus, Z equal minus 1. And then when um, Z, uh, because this is the even number, even, um, P minus 1 much larger than 0. If, if um, N is odd, P minus 1 must less than 0. So you substitute and you get the answer. So this one also satisfies. And then, uh, this time, you uh, must arrange uh, the number 4. For number 4, your Bn minus 1, you know your N is 4. So, you got B3 modulus. B3 must um, larger than B0. And Cn minus 2 means C4 minus 2. You got C2 must larger than B0. So remember the jury tables the number of row is equal to n minus 2 your n is 4 so 2 times 4 minus 3 so you have 5 rows then you arrange the for no, for row number 1 for row number 1 um Row number one. Okay, for row number uh, for row number one, it start with a n. So your a n is minus zero point zero eight, and then follow by a n minus one is zero point zero three. Or this is your um actually this is your questions. Start from the last one zero point zero eight zero point three. 0 0.07 minus 1.2 and 1. Second one, you switch the location. This one start with a0. So this is your a0, a1, a2, a3, and a n. So next step, you must find the b3. How to find the b3? If you refer to the um to the formula here, b 
3 equal a n a o a n minus k minus 1 uh, a k minus 1 so your uh, k actually represent this is actually b k um, so So, um, when we um, change substitute n to 4, you this one become a 4, a 0, a 0, a 4. If you refer to this um, jury table, this one and the value of this one. So, you got 0 0.081 and 1. Minus 0 0.08. And then, how to uh, calculate this one? It's actually like this. Minus 0 0.08 times minus 0 0.08 minus. Remember, this is minus this one. 1 times 1. So, you got the answer minus, minus 0 0.99. A four. So for the uh, B two, for the B two, you use uh, for the B two, you still use this one, and then you go to this Z power of three. So this one minus. 1.2 and 0 0.03 so and then this one to calculate is this one a uh, minus 0 0.08 times 3 minus 1.1 times uh 1.12 you got 1.196 and then for the third one or b1 For the B1, I use uh, another color. Still, you use this one and Z power of 2, this one. So, you can see here for B1, this is zero, minus 0 0.08 and 1. And this is the blue color is here. So, you got the answer and... I think you can assume for B0. So for B0, um, so for B0, you use this one and also Z power of Y. So you got the answer for B0. Okay, and when you got the answer, you substitute in this row. So you substitute in this row. This is B3, B2, B1, and then B zero again you switch the arrangement for row number four this is this is actually if you refer here number four start with b0 b1 until b n minus one so this is b0 b1 b2 and b3 so your next step is to find the c2 c1 and c0 Okay, to find the C2, same, uh, we repeat uh, again. Um, okay, so first to find the C2, you must use this data and also this data for C2. So, you look at here, for C2, you use minus 0 0.994. Minus 0 0.204 and then uh, minus 2.204 and 994. Okay, then for C1, this is for C2. And for C1, C1, I use the blue color. This is for C1. You use this one. And again, this B data. So for C0. I think uh, this one you can guess 
for 0, you use this one, the B data, and this one. Okay. So, you got the answer. So, C0 is actually three, three point, uh, 0 0.319. And then, if you refer to the... Um, to the rules number four. So this is the uh, so this is the rules number four. B three must larger than B zero. C two must larger than C zero. So B three must larger than B zero and C three must larger than Z zero. C zero and then condition number one satisfied. This one satisfied. Condition number four. Condition number uh, 3 satisfy, condition number 2 satisfy, and condition number 1 satisfy. So, the system is stable because all conditions are satisfied. So, this is example number 1. So, we look at example number 2. So, again, we look at uh, jury stability. So you have z power of 3 minus 1.1 z squared minus 0 0.z plus 0 0.2 equal 0. So you compare with uh, this one from jury stability. So you know that your a0 is 1, a1, this is this is value for a1, a2, and a3 is 0 0.03. And then check the stability condition a n a. A modulus of a n less than zero, you know here that your n is actually three, and then so uh modulus of a three less than a zero, so number one is satisfied. Number two, p z when z equal one must larger than zero, so you uh, substitute z in this equation and then here you got zero. Zero means unsatisfied. Zero means suppose this one larger than zero but you got you got zero. So this one is critically stable or marginally stable. So you go to the next step because your n is three and odd so p minus one must less than zero. So you Check here. If um z is odd, p z minus one must less than zero. So here you substitute and you got this one is satisfied. This one critical stable. So for b number three again you do uh, an arrangement for um arrange with a n first for um and lastly a zero. So, first you must know the number of row. Since your n is 3, so 2 times 3 minus 3 is 3. So, your maximum row is 3, 1, 2, 3. And this is actually a n, um, a3, a2, a1, and a0. And then we change the arrangement, start from a, n, uh, a0, a1, a2, and 3. So, to find the b2, to find the B2, we use this data and also this data. So you can see here, your B2 is 0 0.2 and 1, 1, 0 0.02. And to, cut, uh, to uh, get the answer, this one, 0 0.02 minus this one, 1 times 1. So your answer is minus 0 0.96 same as b1 for so for b1 you use this data and also this data oh oh actually this one here is minus 0 0.01 okay so you got answer for B1 and continue with B2. This one is satisfied. So we this one is satisfied. If you look 
from condition one, condition one satisfying this one critical, critically stable, this one unsatisfied because critically stable, this one satisfied, satisfied. So, based on above condition, this system is critically stable. So, I let uh, give you an as an example. For example, this one satisfied critically critically stable for example this for example if this one is unsatisfied so what do you think the answer since we have one if we have unsatisfied uh, no unsatisfied means this one is unstable So you can see here, the answer will change from critically stable to unstable. Okay, because you have one condition is unstable. For example, this one is an example. So okay, we look at um, we example number three. Example number three, consider the closed loop uh, control system shown in figure below. Determine the value of K for system to be stable. So, um, as I mentioned before, what you need to do is you need to find um, the characteristic equation where the characteristic equation is Pz1 plus G at Z. First, you must find the, this is your GS, you must find the GS you transform to GZ. Then you must uh, find, uh, get the characteristic equation. You uh, solve the equation, this is your final answer. So this is your final answer. You can see here we compare with B Z. So this is your your a zero equal one a one. This is your a one, and this is your a two. Why your n is two and your n is even. And then we check the stability. We check the stability. Modulus of a n must less than zero. This is your n. So from here you know that. That your k is k must less than 2.39 and k must larger than uh, minus 5.775. So for p1, p1 must larger than 0. So you substitute, you got a 0 0.6321 larger than 0. So of course k larger than a zero. This is condition number three. So for condition number three, uh, three, you know that p z when z equal one equal minus one larger than zero because n is even. So you substitute. You got k less than two three uh, to twenty six point three eight one nine. Okay. So you have uh one to uh one condition one two and three. So, we need to find the range. How to find the range? Okay, to find the range, assume that this is his one line. And then, this one is 2.239. And then, this one is minus 5. Point one seven seven five. Okay. First one is less than two point three nine. So means we put like this to. So this is condition number one and larger. And then this one is larger than. Minus 5.1775. Condition number two, 
k must larger than 0. So, assume this is your 0. Larger means larger than 0. This area is means larger than 0. Number 3, k last 26. So, assume that this area is 26 point, this, this point is 26.3819. 3819 and less. Less mean start. Uh, sorry, uh, this is uh, this one is condition number one. This one is also condition number one. This is condition number two. And then less. Condition number four is less means here. This is condition number three. If you refer to all condition, which uh, value of k that makes the system is stable, so n must satisfy from condition 1 until 3, so means this area. Okay, this area until this area. I change the color to this one. So this area satisfies all the Condition. What is the range for this one? The range for this one is k between 0 until 22.239. So, the, based on all above condition, a range of k for the system to this table be between 0 k until 2.239. 2, 3, 9. So, um, so, okay. For example, this is the end example. If you have um, K mass larger or equal 0. So, when you draw, this is your 0. So, Last, uh, larger or less than zero means we put dot here and uh, around here and around here must fill with like this. So larger over there. For example, K uh, less than one. So to write the one, this is one. This is the condition so you can see is it larger or uh, larger or equal and less or larger so for example for this case both of the conditions satisfy so the k value is between um like this okay so this is um Video number one, we will continue with video number two after this. Okay, thank you.